Hey guys, it's Jeremy the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 284 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you already attempted it. Let's just dive right in. Question, it asks, losses incurred by a policy holder follow the normal distribution with mean 2,000, I mean 20,000 and a standard deviation of 4,500. 4, the policy covered losses subject to a deductible so this is our mean right here. Covers subject to a deductible of fifteen thousand. Um, calculate the ninety-fifth percent of losses that exceed the deductible. Okay, so we're looking for not the ninety-five, ni not the ninety-fifth percentile of the whole distribution. I think it'll be like around here. But we're looking for the ninety-fifth percentile of the losses. So it's like there. Okay, so the first step to find is where what even is what is the standard deviation of the twenty thousand that's I mean the fifteen hundred fifteen thousand the standard deviation. Okay, well we can normalize it so we can say that this is um fifteen thousand minus twenty thousand over forty five hundred which is equal to let's tap it into my calculator. So this is equal to negative one point one one blah, blah blah on and on. So what value would, would that be in z square term? Like, so negative 1.10 is 0.1357. So this part right here is 0.1357. That's the probability that it is less than that value. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this part right here. So this is just 1 minus 0.1357, which is equal to 0.8643. So then next, we want to try to find what is the 95th percentile in terms of the amount exceeding the deductible. So then to find that, it's easiest for us to think of it like, I think it's easiest for us to think of it like this. So this is our 95th percentile, right? We're trying to find the purple shaded region right here. And in, in, in order to find that, we want to try to see what this extra part is first. And then that extra part is just, if this is the 95th percentile here, then this has to be the 0.05, right? So it'll be 0.05, to, and we're scaling it down to the amount over the deductible, so we're multiplying it by 0.8643. But that's not the really the part that we want. We just want the part, everything else but that part. And we know that the whole thing has to add up to 1, so we just have to sub subtract 1 minus 0.05 times 0.8643 to because okay yeah, I know where the confusion comes from because at first too like I thought okay so if this is if we know that this whole this part right here is 0 0.8643 just why don't you just subtract 8643 minus 0 0.05 times 8643 because we already took it from 0.8643 counting um subtracting it from 0.8643 just you're counting you're scaling it twice instead of scaling it once and that's why we Although it's our natural instinct to um, start it from point eight because this whole thing we know is add up to point eight six three, um, it's our natural instinct to subtract it from there. But because we're scaling the original one, that's why we have to subtract it from one to find the leftover part, the purple part that we want to find, this whole part right here. So then, what is that equal to? Well, that's equal to point nine five six seven. So the ninety five um, 0.67th percentile of the whole loss is equal to the 95th percentile of the loss greater than the deductible. Ooh, baby. So then now we just have to find a value that it corresponds to 0.9567. And you know, you know, my Z table has only the negative part, so I'm looking for the Z table. That's if I know that the Z tape, my Z tape only has a negative part, I'm looking for um, 0 0.0432 because that's 1 minus 0 0.9567. 0 0.043, 0 0.043, that's about like here. So that's negative 1.71, negative 1.71. But we're looking for um, this whole thing right here. So then that means the value I'm look actually looking for is 1.71. The only reason why I looked at the negative side was because I only have the negative side of the Z table. 
but anyways so we know that the value we're looking for our value minus our mean we're standardizing the sucker out is equal to 1.71 okay so I just have to multiply it out 1.71 times 4500 plus 20,000 yeah let's see what let me type it into the, my calculator real quick okay so this is equal to 27695 which is our answer it's closest to our answer B if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share the discrepancy here comes from the fact that um, our Z table isn't perfect so we couldn't find the value exactly 0.0432 so um, I mean if you want to get the exact value you can definitely use the definition of a normal interval but we don't have time for that so bye